Hello, I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive, and I'm here with Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins on the campus of the Westchester County Corrections Department in our Grasslands Reservation, and we want to introduce you to the leadership team of our Department of Corrections, which includes uh, two new individuals that are taking on senior leadership roles, one promoted from within the ranks, and the other a very talented person in law enforcement who is joining the Department of Corrections. We're happy to announce that there are two new appointments to the jail's leadership team. You'll, you'll see each of them in a second or two, and you'll hear them each say a few words. Uh, Ms. Nori Padilla, who's a veteran of the Department of Corrections, will be taking on the role of first deputy commissioner, and Reverend Michael B. Gerald will be joining the Department of Corrections as Deputy Commissioner. Westchester County has been committed to finding the best quality individuals to serve in every capacity across our government. We have a range of responsibilities from running an airport to treating sewerage to running a bus system and here in this location to running correctional facilities that uh, deal with those that are sentenced, remanded to uh, the county jail function. These responsibilities are serious, and uh, with all of the other things that people recognize us for, those that interact with the de Corrections Department uh, may not be as broad a group of Westchester residents, but I think we all understand why it is a necessary function and why it's important for us to have a leadership team that is led by top managers who both have experience that they can bring to the table, as well as a human commitment to understanding what happens when a person is incarcerated. Here in the county jail system, unlike the state system, we're dealing with people who will be incarcerated for a period of time, and then, unless they're transferred to some other location, will complete their uh, responsibilities to the society and will return to the society. So our challenges here are greater in many ways because we know that we want people to be ready when they go back into civil society to be able to function successfully and to give them every reason not to return to this facility for any reason. I want to introduce um, our commissioner, Joseph Spano, who is with us here and as well as the other individuals that I've introduced, uh, Nori Padilla, the first deputy commissioner, Michael Gerald, who's a deputy commissioner, and also Leandro Diaz, Leo, as we know him, who continues as deputy commissioner and is a longtime individual uh, serving this department. Let me just give you a brief bio on each of them, uh, which we think will be helpful, and then we'll have each of them say a few words after the commissioner speaks. Ms. Nori Padilla has worked here at the Corrections Department for approximately 20 years. She has most recently served as director of program development since 2008, where she has had direct supervision over program staff, community agencies, and volunteers. Her work with this organization has directly impacted hundreds of residents, those in our custody, and upon their return to the communities, she's built solid relationships that has helped establish with community resources uh, a very critical component of successful re-entry programs and process. As part of her work and her life experience, Ms. Padilla is a certified psychotherapist and an adjunct instructor. And many of the things that we talk about, the reforms and the changes in the corrections department, those are things that have already been credited to Ms. Padilla's tenure in this department. And we're very happy that uh, she has been elevated to first deputy commissioner to continue to work in those areas and other areas at the direction of the commissioner, Joe Spano. Reverend Michael Gerald is joining us as one of our two deputy commissioners. Uh, he has uh, previously served Westchester County as chair of the Corrections Advisory Board, which I created two years ago. What I had hoped for was to bring individuals uh, involved in the correction operations, and at the same time we created a companion probations advisory board so that in addition to the existing police advisory board, we had for our three major law enforcement entities a citizen's component of involvement so that they could study issues, discuss, get some of that point of view from individuals in everyday life to be able to bring it into the leadership team under uh, Commissioner Spano. During the period of time that Reverend Gerald was involved in that responsibility, he convened the monthly meetings and led the discussion, which include the structure of the corrections workforce, uh, reporting uh, data, particularly about use of force, capital projects, statistical data, rehabilitation programs and services, and a host of other areas. Reverend Gerald has served in a number of different positions. He's been Director of Ministerial Services for the Office of Children and Family Services in New York State, based up in Rensselaer in the Albany area. He was responsible for overseeing all religious and faith programs for OCFS Division of Juvenile Justice and Opportunities. He has also been a Senior Director of Mercer County Sheriff's Office in Trenton, Mercer County in New Jersey, Central New Jersey, where he has been uh, Command Staff Administrator for 115 sworn employees. 
Uh, Reverend Gerald worked 14 years as a New Jersey State Trooper. He never once pulled me over on the New Jersey Turnpike, even though I used to go every day from exit 8A to the George Washington Bridge, which means that he must not have been on duty when I was driving. And he, has he achieved the rank of sergeant in that capacity, worked a number of specialized units. And uh, we also know him because he is the senior minister, pastor for the Shiloh Baptist Church in Eastchester. We're also uh, very happy to recognize Deputy Commissioner Leandro Diaz. We know him as Leo. He remains in his position as Deputy Commissioner, which he had previously. Leo has worked in this department for 31 years. He has held all sworn ranks, and he oversees the day-to-day -day facility operations, including medical services, special needs populations, there are certain key units, bookings and administrations, special investigations, and we credit uh, his leadership as one of the critical ones in helping us get federal PREA pre-certification. This diverse leadership uh, all falls under the commissionership of Joseph Spano. Uh, Commissioner Spano has also been in this institution for a significant amount of his work life. He started out at, uh, as a correction officer, worked his way up, had experience heading the union, the COBA union for this uh, institution, and then uh, ultimately served as commissioner of corrections under my predecessor, uh, Andy Spano. Uh, he spent eight years in the private sector doing some additional work that expanded his knowledge of corrections, and we were very happy when he agreed to come back in January of 19. Uh, pardon me, 2018, to take on responsibility as commissioner. And when we had that conversation, what we understood was we wanted a blend. The blend is people who have experience in the institution and people who come from outside the institution that can come in and bring fresh ideas. We wanted a diversity. We wanted to see people that reflected the diversity of Westchester County by all different ethnic backgrounds. And not because we're trying to check boxes, but we want people who can understand the experiences that people who walk through these doors uh, as uh, residents, what their life experience is like. And we wanted people who were committed to running this department professionally, but also those who could see a path for, uh, tra for change in the lives of the people in this institution. And all of those things we think have been done brilliantly. I take zero personal credit for the things that have happened in this institution. My job is to try to help select the top leadership and give them the freedom and give them the authority and the resources to be able to do the job in running this institution effectively. And I'm very pleased now to introduce the Commissioner of the Department of Corrections, the Honorable Joe Spano. Thank you, County Executive Latimer. And uh, you're right, I have been doing this for quite some time. Um, almost two thirds of my life, almost 40 years, I have committed to the field of corrections and to helping others. And, and as you were speaking, you know, I can't help but think about the history of this department, something I'm very familiar with, uh, the 52 year history of this department. And I'm, I've, I've paid a lot of attention to the hard work and the changes that were made over the years to elevate our agency to a leader in the correction space. And uh, I will tell you, going into 2021, I'm proudly tell you and others that we are one of the most diverse, highly trained professional law enforcement agencies in the region. And our diversity spans across every level of our workforce and every unit. It's something we're very proud of. But we're also proud of the work that we have collectively done over the years to elevate our agency as a leader in the correction space. And part of that recognition is associated with our robust rehabilitation programs and services. And it's, it's, it's by no coincidence that our first deputy commissioner, Nuri Padilla, has been working with the Department of Corrections for 20 years. And simultaneously, we have one of the most robust and effective rehabilitation reentry systems in, in, in the field of corrections. Nori has been in charge of transitional services, program development, and what a lot of folks don't realize that it, although our agency has been in existence for 52 years, it was probably 19 or 20 years ago where the department made a commitment to, to, com to dedicate more resources to building out our programs and services to building out our community partnerships and relationships. And as part of that process, we built an education center, which was a real uh, uh, springboard 
to what was to come over the course of the next 20 years. And a lot of us have participated over that time in building out those programs and services. But I don't hesitate to say no one has the, had the more, more direct involvement in that process than our new first deputy commissioner, Nuri Padilla. She researched, she developed, she implemented, she tracked numerous programs and services. I'm going to say dozens, but it's probably closer to hundreds, hundreds of community re relationships that she established over the course of the last 20 years. What does that mean? We understand that although we do so much here to help incarcerated men and women get on a better life path, we understood for years how critical it was to have those solid relationships in the community and how that transitioned into a successful reentry. Nuri Padilla has been the point person in that process for 20 years. So, uh, you know, First Deputy Commissioner Padilla, you know I'm uh, excited for you personally, but I'm also excited for our agency because I know you're going to continue to really do wonderful things, not to just advance our agency, to support the population we serve. And uh, Deputy Commissioner Michael Gerald, no, he hasn't been here for 20 years, but he's no stranger. He's no stranger to our agency. As uh, County Executive Latimer said, you know, he has chaired the correct, newly created Correction Advisory Board for, for the better part of two years and convened monthly meetings. And really, him and his colleagues did a deep dive into many aspects of DOC operations. So, I have no doubt that that experience is going to aid his transition onto the um, DOC management team, as will his experience, his real life experience with the state police for 14 years, as an undersheriff with command of all sworn staff. The work that he's done with the Office of Children's Family Services and New York State Youth Divisions, and the work that he's done with the Shiloh Baptist Church. I, I feel the same way uh, about uh, you, Deputy Commissioner, that I do, Nori. I know that collectively, working with myself, Deputy Commissioner Diaz, the all levels of our workforce, and of course our partners, we're going to continue to do some very impressive things here. Things that not just advance and you know further advance our reputation in the correction space, things that directly impact our workforce, the population we serve, and the Westchester taxpayers. So County Executive Latimer, thank you. We couldn't be happier. Thank you, Commissioner. Now I'd like to introduce the first Deputy Commissioner uh, for the Department, Nori Padilla, and she's also going to talk about a recent graduation that occurred earlier this week in addition to sharing any of her personal thoughts uh, on, on taking on this position. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I first want to say thank you very much for this opportunity. I look forward to being part of the leadership, continue to be part of the leadership. My commitment to reentry services and criminal justice are evident in my work, and I am excited to be able to continue to do so. We have been working under very different conditions this past year, but our commitment to continue to provide rehabilitation services and supportive services to our residents continues to be the same. An example of that is that under and of course supporting COVID restrictions, we recently had a wonderful opportunity to offer a small graduation for six of our residents or DOC students who completed their GED or HSE. We were able to do this under conditions that were not normal, but we supported their education and with our staff and our commitment, we were able to celebrate this achievement and encourage them to not only accomplish behavioral change, but to do so in a way that when they return to the community, they have the opportunity to make different choices and turn their lives around. I am excited about this opportunity. I appreciate this opportunity, and I look forward to continuing to be part of this team. Thank you very much. Next, the newest member of the team who has joined the department, Reverend Michael Gerald, Deputy Commissioner. Thank you, County Executive Lattimore. First, I want to <clears throat> begin my remarks by uh, letting you know that I am a man of faith, and as a man of faith, uh, I'm deeply humbled by this opportunity 
I want to thank the commissioner and uh, Ms. Padilla and also uh, Mr. Diaz for embracing me and welcoming me in. This is a steep learning curve for me as my uh, experience has been in policing. Uh, my job was just to lock them up, not to be responsible for what happens after individuals were arrested. Uh, being on the inside, leading the advisory board for two years, I got an opportunity to see what happens behind the walls. I got an opportunity to see how uh, caring and how compassionate the professionals of the Westchester County uh, Department of Corrections are in the facilitation of uh, programs, services, and other uh, aspects of, of care for the residents that are here. I hope to be able to impact this work in a real way, and I hope to be able to uh, make the county executive as well as the commissioner proud of the work that I do specifically, but the work that we do collectively. This is an arduous task. Uh, we some days may not do the right things, but we hope that what we do for these residents and for the county will make all of the county residents happy that they've selected us to serve in leadership. So again, thank you for allowing me to serve, and uh, I look forward to continuing this uh, program and this process as the days and months come. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce Deputy Commissioner Leandro Diaz. Leo, as I mentioned earlier, has served this department over a long period of time. He's got, it as, long as, as well as Commissioner Spano, an encyclopedic knowledge of how this institution works. And it's essential for us to find that right blend. We try to do this with every department of county government, to, define, to find people from within the structure that have the respect and the knowledge of the structure, as well as people from outside the structure who can come in and infuse that with different ideas and points of view and have those two things mesh together. But you need both of them. And it's also very important inside an institution to show that people who have worked in the institution for a long period of time have the opportunity for promotion. And when you know how many decades both uh, Commissioner Spano, First Deputy Commissioner Padilla, and Commissioner Deputy Commissioner Diaz have served, it's a statement of the quality of the men and women that are in this institution that rise to leadership when asked to do so. And certainly, Leo Diaz has risen to leadership as he has been asked to do. Leo? Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank um, County Executive Latimer and Commissioner Spano for allowing me to continue my, my function as a Deputy Commissioner of Operations. As they've said, I've served 31 years at this department and gone up the ranks. So I really understand the challenges that um, jails face when it comes to safety and security. Um, my commitment is to keep all residents and staff safe at the facility. Um, but equally important is the programs and services that we offer to our residents. So I welcome First Deputy Commissioner Padilla and Deputy Commissioner Gerald as we undertake 2021 under the leadership of Commissioner Spano, um, and I'm excited about what we're going to do this year. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'd like to ask our Deputy Commissioner, Ken Jenkins, to join us for a few of his thoughts. Thank you, County Executive. It is certainly um, a, a proud day here for the Department of Correction. And I, I know that all the time we want, want to put that S on the end of it, but it's Department of Correction, as the Commissioner always um, corrects. This um, leadership team is a reflection of County Executive Latimer's leadership style and the kind of things that he brings to the table for each and every department. I'm privileged to see that every day as part of our leadership team with Joe McDonald, a county executive, and myself, that we are always looking at the talented um, individuals that happen to serve within county government to give them opportunities to, to rise and to be those leaders in each and every department that we have in the county. One of the things that has always been remarked um, to, to me and to the county executive when we get a chance to go out and, and visit all of the, the departments, and certainly the county executive um, has not been able to do that as much because of the pandemic, but certainly in the opportunities to go out and listen and talk and touch the county employees, the almost 5,000 employees of Westchester County. They understand that they have a leader in County Executive Latimer that gives that 
space opportunity to remove the roadblocks and get out the way for the professionals. Commissioner Spano pointed out that his leadership team has almost 100 years of experience in the law enforcement community, 90 inside of the correction facility. So there is not a question at all. The, the dynamic um, leadership team that is put together is going to continue to work for those residents that have been the opportunity um, to partake in the, the, uh, the, um, the ceremonies and activities here in the correction facilities while they re repay their um, debt to society. And as First Deputy Padilla said, to make different choices. And I've heard so many times where the commissioner says that at a graduation or when the folks are, are returning to the community. There are so many dynamic programs that have been able to be implemented under this leadership team with Commissioner Spano, um, First Deputy um, Commissioner Padilla, um, Deputy Commissioners Diaz and Gerard, Gerard, that we are going to continue to have the kind of outstanding leadership, returning members to the community that will continue to help uphold and support the community. So it is certainly a great day here for Westchester County, but for all of those folks in correction, the almost 500 members in correction when they can look up and they see members that have risen to the top, that have worked from their very ranks to be able to be leaders in the very institution they have dedicated their whole entire lives to. So thanks a lot, County Executive Latimer, and that continued leadership for bringing all of the folks together. So just to close out our time together, um, I want to mention that uh, when you think of county government, the 4,500 employees of Westchester County government, there is, as I said at the outset, a diverse number of tasks that are given to them. We have responsibilities in, in a host of areas that are very visible. And sometimes the services of county government are uh, available for people to enjoy, and, and it's meant to be something to enjoy. Our Parks and Recreation Department fills that uh, need. We have six public golf courses, and to go out and play around the golf, which I actually can't do, but uh, to be able to go out and enjoy a beach or a pool in a recreational uh, capacity, and you feel the joy of a service that the county government provides. We have household cleanup days that the Department of Environmental Facilities sponsors. We had one in Playland a couple of months ago where people can, can find a real service by taking things out of their basement and their attic and bringing it uh, to a location, and the county gets rid of it for no charge at all, and that's a positive. There are things that the county government does that people don't see. We benefit from sewer treatment, but we don't really see the process of how it happens at the seven sewer treatment plants. Not a particularly pretty sight, but the people who run that department understand what it takes to do that function. And where would we be if we couldn't properly remove our sewerage and treat it before we send it out into the Long Island Sound or the Hudson River? And those are essential functions. We have people who perform back of the house functions in planning or the law department and budget in parts of other different departments that you never see them at all. And in this particular department, Department of Corrections, we deal with, in certain ways, a, a thing that is less likely to be discussed under everyday purposes, that a person has been uh, charged with a crime, has been adjudicated, found guilty of that crime, and has a debt to pay to the society, and that debt has to be paid, incarcerated in this facility. But we take that responsibility as seriously as we take the other responsibilities, and we want professionals to run each of those responsibilities. No county executive can run a sewer treatment plant. No county executive can run the county jail. You have to make sure that you have people who are talented and be able to do that and bring different talents. Look at these four people behind me. Each of them bring a different talent to harmonize into running this institution as well as possible. And so, again, you try to give them the most uh, amount of freedom and the most amount of support to do that function. This facility functions for Westchester County in the same way that Rikers Island performs for New York City. Now, you've heard many concerns about Rikers Island, overcrowding, people who have been uh, incarcerated there awaiting trial for multiple number of years, all kinds of abuse and things that happen. The size and scope of New York City, eight plus times the size of Westchester County, is certainly a big factor. And the urban nature of all of New York City contrasts with an urban, suburban nature of Westchester County. But in this county facility. We do not have overcrowding. In this county facility, we have honored the requirements for bail and discovery and so forth that have come down. And, and these men and women behind me and all the men and women they represent have managed this facility to the point where it's been recognized by state and federal agencies as being a model for what this institution can be. And, and that it does perform the function that society has set aside for it, but it also treats the individuals here, and you heard this word used more than once, residents residents as a way of showing respect even for those that have a debt to pay 
because when that debt is paid, they rejoin the society, and we want them to be productive members of the society. We do not want them to return. We would hope the day would come where you wouldn't need to incarcerate one person because uh, that's the way the society functions. But I'm very grateful to the leadership of Commissioner Joe Spano for the leadership that Deputy Commissioner Leo Diaz has shown for many years, the leadership that uh, uh, Nori Padilla has shown in prior positions and now has led her to the first Deputy Commissioner spot, and for uh, new Deputy Commissioner Michael Gerald, they will form a solid team. We will move forward on the initiatives that we, uh, that we have before us and have every confidence in their leadership, and I hope you have that confidence as well. I hope what you see are professionals, you see diversity, you see diversity in ability and experiences of life that mesh together to give us the best possible corrections facility. And we will be back to discuss how we manage the Parks and Recreation Commission Committee. We will be back to discuss how we, how we manage the Health Department, how we manage the Public Works Department, every portion of county government, so that you can see it's the same basic philosophy in this institution as it is elsewhere. And as a recruitment effort, if you have a particular talent or skill that you think can best be uh, shown by becoming a corrections officer, there is, a, there is a pathway to do that. And if you choose to, the path in the police services or as a probation official or working as a scientist or a medical doctor and nurse in our Department of Health or in any other capacity, we welcome you. Uh, we welcome your interest here in Westchester County. We want to run a good county government. We've had a good county government over many other people in the past. We intend to have that for the future. I'm George Latimer. Thank you very much for watching. If there are any press members who have any questions, they can reach out to Catherine Chaffee. We'll be happy to answer them uh, separately. In the meantime, have a safe evening, a safe day, and we'll speak to you in a day or two.